And then the final thing before we start Q&A is, uh, is citizenship bill, because there's a lot of noise and talk about oh, it. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Uh, well, what, what is going on with that? Like, what is that bill about? And like, what's, what's the status on it? Some, some areas I read myself, I know for sure they are true. Some areas I was briefed on. I haven't read the laws yet. Because once I started reading it, I had a headache in 20 minutes. <laughs> what happens is when they give you a bill, yeah they say delete this and insert that now you got to go look at the original hmm. and you have to figure out what was being deleted it's not like a consolidated package yeah what american immigration lawyers association does is they give us a more consolidated package so we can see what's going on so i said i'll wait for it but what i saw and what jumped out at me some of the things were one and this is the part that i read i can talk about which was people who had phd from u.s universities accredited US universities, they had no waiting time. So like the spouse of a US citizen, mm -hmm. today you file green card, right, right away you can file 485 too. Mm. Okay. okay. You still have to go through the green card process through some method, yeah. but you have no waiting, number one. Number two, what I really liked was anybody who comes to the United States for graduate studies, mm -hmm. They are, they cannot be refused a visa based upon the fact that they are going to become immigrants here. So it became a dual intent visa like an H-1B. Nice. Okay. okay. That means they can also file for a green card right away. Wait, wait. So let me understand. When you say the dual intent visa for F-1? F-1. They oh, made wow. That is so Those F-1 visas that are coming for graduate studies, dual intent. Hmm. And it doesn't say so in the provision itself but the heading of the provision is clarifying dual intent for student visas mm. so when it says clarifying and then they say if you are coming for um, for uh, graduate studies in the united states you're not required to have a residence at home mm. yeah that's it's like dual intent right so it says dual intent it talks about dual. Nice. looks like dual intent to me that is okay. awesome yeah uh... now here is here is the interesting thing with that i don't think i saw the word accredited institutions so you could come for graduate studies in any college and still be exempt from or be dual intent i i think from what i remember right right okay then the next thing that i i well some of the things now that i know what they are doing is eliminating the the backlog mm -hmm. and they are doing this one of the several ways not only one several several ways first of all per country limit will be gone yeah so instead of india getting seven percent and uh, Chile getting 7%, everybody gets the same 100%. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Number two, previously, and this is something I've heard, I haven't seen it yet, uh, because I just gave up on it after after a while, my head just started bursting. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, there, was a, there was a provision that said, we used to count husband, wife, and two children, all of them, four visas against the total available. Mm -hmm. Okay. So primary and all the derivatives were counted as numbers against the visas. Yeah. Now they will only count primary. Okay. That helps. Yeah. Okay. Number two, anybody who has been, been been waiting 10 years for a green card, they're entitled to it right now. When you say entitled, like they, they can process their 485. They can, they can process their 485. They can, whatever has been pending can be processed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number three, they'll recapture all the old uncaptured or wasted visas which is over 200,000 oh, okay wow. we yeah. don't know how far more than 200,000 yeah then they were I might forget a thing or two but this I'm just speaking from memory right then they were they added 30,000 visas to the pot uh, which is not a whole lot but I think Republicans will not go for anything more than that mm -hmm. okay so that was the backlog elimination we did the PhDs we talked about graduate studies then age out children being being protected, H4 EADs were being placed into the law rather than in the regulations where everybody who wakes up in the morning gets up and challenges it, mm. you know? Yeah. So, so they'll put it beyond I, challenge. Was it there? I think there was something for STEM students as well, right? Maybe, maybe not. There was, uh, was it that it was the STEM PhDs? No, I think PhDs were all, but maybe... I don't remember exactly. I can look up my notes. I did That's I did fine. put it on my LinkedIn page. Yeah. Because yeah, there's yeah, yeah. so much going on, Yuri, it's impossible to keep track of everything. Right. I don't right. even remember what I wrote in the letter. Yeah. I 
kind of recollect the basic issues because every time I think of issue, a bunch of people's faces or tweets <laughs> or emails pop up in front of me. Like I have this problem. What do I do? Yeah. Today also this morning I was talking to a young lady. She had an issue, and I said, you know what? Do nothing. Just wait until let's see what happens tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.